Before adding any props, go to Render Settings and choose the format and size of your project. In this case, it's a ratio of 4 by 3 and a size of 1000 by 750 pixels. Always render to a new window or file as that's more accurate. Click on the Advanced tab. These are the settings that will work most of the time. Bucket size 8, ray trace depth at 4, pixel samples X and Y at 4, and shadow samples at 16. Click on Accept. Making a render often involves several props or characters at various sizes. It's wise to start with the bigger ones first, and then descend in size, adding the smallest ones last. In the Content tab, locate Props and Stonemason. Select Tin Can P6. First thing to do is zoom out the default camera so that you can see more of the prop. In the Scenes tab, select Default Camera, head over to the Parameters tab, and adjust the focal length to 22 millimeters. This will give you a wider view of the room and allow you to orient yourself more easily. Now, with the default camera selected and using the three navigation icons in the top right corner of the main window, you can move around the room and familiarize yourself with it. What to look for is a camera angle that gives depth, something framing the image, and something in the foreground to make it more interesting. Take your time, examine the surfaces, angles, and props. Placing the camera is one of the most important parts of creating a great render. What you are looking for is balance. Usually, when something feels good, it means it is good. The same applies for camera angles. Here, behind the railing, we get a perfect spot for our action scene. The structure looks interesting, frames the image perfectly, and gives nice depth. When you have a low camera angle, it often looks good to point or tilt it up a bit to catch a bit of the ceiling. When you can't move the camera backward anymore, you can always adjust the focal length down to see more of the room. 22mm seems like a perfect choice for this particular camera position. Okay, with the camera in place, let's bring in some friends.